Hello guys and welcome back to another episode. So today we're going to talk about Battle for Azeroth. Um, and we're going to cover the balance Druid PP talents in Battle for Azeroth Beta. So keep in mind this is Beta so that means everything can change. But as it is at the moment there's no PP talents. So no more a PP talent tab. You just have the PP talents here on the right side as your normal P well, talents. So you have three slots here that is all sharing a big spell pool so all these spells here can be chosen from this list and on these three tabs and then you have this top tab where you can choose your pp trinket so the normal pp trinket the passive one that decreases in <laughs> crowd control by 20 and your automatically pp trinket that has one minute cooldown and the normal one have two minutes cooldown then we have the next three here that is well all these spells here so the first one here is Celestial Guardian. While in bear form you take 10% less damage from spells and receive 20% increased healing. I mean, pretty cool if you want to survive. Using Moonfire on a target already affected by Moonfire, damage your time effects deal 35 additional direct damage. So spam income. Increase the duration of Starfall by 100 but only one may be active at a time. Okay, so normally you can have many. But, okay, so now you can only have one then. Celestial Alignment summons a beam of light at your location, granting you 70% reduction in silence and interrupt for 10 seconds. Whenever you star search, whenever you star search, all allies within 14 yards have their critical strike chance increased by 15 for 8 seconds. That's okay. Sunfire and Moonfire generate free astral power when they are dispelled. Uh, not worth. Increase the amount of damage required to cancel entangling roots. So, better CC. Swarm the target with fairies, disarming the enemy, preventing the use of any weapons or shield, and reducing moving speed by 30%. Cyclone, so, well, Druid's best CC and PP. Iron Feather, Moonkin form, increase your arm by an additional 25 and reduce your chance to be critical hit by melee attacks by 20. So I guess that, well, it's, it's not a must because I mean if you're versus a warlock and a mage and a priest, why should you then have armor? Um, but I mean it's pretty cool else if you're through well, versus a melee attacker. It's something I definitely would have in random battleground. When your entangling roots are ma or masked, entanglement is removed, dispelled or ends the target. When your entangling roots or masked, entanglement is removed, dispelled or ends, target will take 1000 nature damage. Okay, so if it's dispelled or removed, he will take damage. And the damage is the same as two of my solar breath, so that's actually pretty much damage. When using regrowth on an ally, the interior heal will always have a critical effect and cast time of regrowth will be reduced by 50 for 6 seconds. Hmm. It's pretty cool, so you can use regrowth on your ally and then it's very fast and then you can just spam it on yourself. I mean, what's not to like? So guys, this was all the... oh wait, oh, you might miss one. Sprout fawns for 12 seconds on the friendly target. When a victim to melee, when victim to melee attacks, fawn deals up to 5% of the attacker's total health and nature damage. Shit. So, in 12 seconds, every time a melee attack hits attacks him, he gains 5% of his total health at the back to him. So I mean, on 12 seconds, I mean you can almost kill yourself. So that means if you put fawns on him, damn. Okay, so I mean, if someone is calling, casting fawns on themselves, you can only attack that guy as a warrior if you have a healer on you, or else you will probably kill yourself. That's pretty cool. So, yeah, guys, that was the PP talents for Balance Druid in Battle for Azeroth Beta. So, if you have any questions, any questions or anything to comment on regarding these PP talents, well, leave down a comment. I would love to see a comment. Um, else, if you like the video, press the or smash the like button. Else, I can just say, well, thanks for watching, and I can't wait to play this game on the 4th August. 
uh, 14 August, not 4th, 14 August. So, yeah, well, thank you guys for watching and.